Okay, guys, go back to the JX35 360. I'm gonna replace the separate team belt, which is on the passenger side over here. So, in order to get access to this, you need to remove the dust cover that is over here. You have a uh, one, two, three, and four clips over there. They're like this, so just pull them out and, and then all you need to do is so you can touch over here between you you ratchet here then you're gonna push it down like this you see and then gonna move and uh, obviously I'm doing this with one hand so uh, I'm gonna need the old one so I'm gonna show you when the belt is out so a quick update the best position to get the ratchet in is this so you push it down have the clearance to get the belt out so as you can see in that position the belt is easy coming off Okay, you see, and then you let out go the ratchet. Twist the position here, and then you get the bell out. Okay, so the belt's off. So the belt, the which it goes, is out the cash off. Go down to the pulley, and then goes up to the alternator. Go around. And then goes back down from the AC compressor and then loop over here so that's how you replace the the serpentine belt and now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the the AC compressor because it's gone with uh, 73,000 miles and the compressor is gone so uh, the way to remove the compressor is you have you see one bolt over there one bolt over there in order to get access to that bolt you need to lose this bolt over here which loses the clamp to the to the hoses over there then you need to remove the cover down here and then you have another bolt over here and another bolt up there so I don't know you can see and then you need to remove the daisy lines which are over there too over there okay so those are 14 millimeter bolts over here as you can see I already removed that and so in order to have access to the bottom bolt you need to remove this one and there is another bolt over here 10 millimeters 10 millimeters 14 14 and then we're going down here <coughs> there is another 14 14 the one line goes in there is 10 millimeters already out and now you can see the top one is another 10 millimeter bolts over there so when these two bolts are out the compressor is going out you need to remove the 10 millimeter bolts over there too so it's coming down in this way from the back to the front Okay, now it's off the core. Here's the compressor. So this, this is where they see the two bolts back here. The connector is all on the top. And don't forget to get this pin off from the compressor. 
those are two lines that connect in there and that's it, that's pretty much what you need to do to remove the compressor from the Infinity GX35